All right, Free Yourself Radio, we back again with D-Law. Let's go. You were on the radio show before. You performed the open mic. You're always showing love, always showing love to uh, Free Yourself and to my music. How you doing? How you been? I'm good. I'm good. I told I him I said he's daddy of the year because, you know, he holds it down <laughs> for his young queens. Yep, yep. I'll accept that title, like I said. Not all <laughs> men get recognized. They're yep. always getting bashed as not doing enough and being an absent father. But, you know, I just want to recognize you, give you your flowers. Because uh, you're an artist, but you're also a father, and that's real. So I really, I really, really, really want to recognize that. So tell us about you. We know who you are, but tell us a little bit about you again, for those who don't. All right. Yeah, I go by D-Law. You know, I grew up in Orlando. I make music, you know, it's to motivate. It's about my life. And, um, yeah, you know, I do whatever to get that check, take care of my fam, you know. All that? Yeah, all of that. <laughs> so tell us about you, like where were you know, where were you raised? Where were you born? Like I was born in PA. Um, oh right outside of Philly. Huh? Abington, you might know. Okay. And then okay. um, you know, I, but I grew up here though. Like uh we moved to Rosemont and Pine Hills area. Oh. And then Oviedo, Lake Nona. I've been everywhere, you know, east side. So. Word. And you always have like high energy when you perform, you're always killing it. So tell okay. us a little bit about, you know, about music and what it means to you. Uh, yeah, music is everything. Like, you know, I first realized I had a passion for it when I was like eight. And uh, ever since then, like, I tried to quit a hundred times, but I just mm. hear a beat or I'll be, you know, waking up and I have just rhymes on my mind. I'm like, you know, this is my, my God given talent. You know, this is my, my passion. So, yeah. It means a lot. It right. helps me with a lot. And through them down times, you write, and the up times, yeah. you write. So, you feel like it's therapy? <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure, because you like putting your consciousness out, and then you're getting feedback. Yeah. And and you just like getting shit off your chest. You How know? do you respond to negative feedback or like haters or people that doubt you? Actually, have you ever had that happen to you? I mean, I know you're dope. I don't think they do, but in case they have ever. Well, yeah, like most people don't got the courage to just straight up be like you trash, you know? but it, it, they wouldn't say it anyway because it ain't trash. But <laughs> you should take <laughs> <The> uh, <laughs> you should take um any criticism so anytime somebody give me criticism um i'll take it and say okay because that's their take on it that's their and you can learn from it yeah so so that's what i do i just whatever somebody says i'll see if it's true yeah and then i'll learn from it so you take it as a teachable moment yeah where yeah. that's dope right so um you know what do you have coming up like what can we expect from you musically wise um i'm about to drop a, a ep or album lp i haven't Figured out the <laughs> what they really call it, but our project's coming out. A project's coming soon. Yeah, it's gonna be called Just Do It. Just Do It. Yeah. You're gonna get Nike to endorse it. Hell or? yeah. <laughs> yeah I did Adidas you on my last one, so oh. all day I dream about success. So that's why you Adidas and then of Nike. Well, no, it's just it's just a ring to it. I like, just do it because, you know, you could procrastinate. You be like, oh, I want to wait for the right time, the amount of right people. I gotta have it's the money. The, it's like, just the right go time. do it. Like, just yeah. do it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. stop hesitating. Facts. Yeah. For real, like it's like, why are we doing all this talking? Like, go. Just you know what it. I mean? Like, exactly. let's go. So I agree. Yeah, that's super dope. Um, so what has been one thing that has been like it really exciting for you? Like something like a great memory, like the last great memory you had. Like you were like, man, that was that was good. Like whether it was writing, recording, performing, whatever. The last great memory. Yeah. Um. You know what? When I performed at Fusion with my brother. Yeah. That was that was a great memory because. The sound system was good. The lights was good. Like, we waited all night, and, you know, a lot of people left, and, and then it was a small crowd, but it was intimate. So mm. when we got on the stage, we rocked that shit, and a few people came up. They're like, I got to go after that. Like, so yeah. that energy was nice, and, you know, my brother, he turned up on that one because sometimes he'd be more, like, laid back, but that mm. one. What venue so was, was that at? It was Fusion right across the street. Yeah. Yeah. Hanau. Oh, Hanau, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What okay. is it? At the Hanau Center. Yeah, that's oh, Hanau, Hanau Center. That's for camp, right? Yeah, I it think so. It's camp. Yeah. They right? just, yeah, Fusion does camp there, so yeah. it's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's that was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, that's super dope. So, um, you know, we know already like a little bit about you, but explain to us again about your name. Like, tell us more about. Okay, uh, D Law. So it's a breakdown of it. Dynamic lyricist at war. Mm, you know, an acronym. Yeah, but it's it's just my name. It's the first initial of my first name and the fir the first three of my last name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's super and cool. I, you know, I got other analysis like Devon Laurent, so that's still D Law. So you into acronyms a lot and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. And then I like lyrical Van Gogh because I paint pictures with my lyrics. So. Okay. So who's <laughs> like the last artist that you listened to? Um, 
on the way here, I was listening to uh, Try and We Got the Jazz. Okay. That's like my favorite song by them. Yeah, that's fire. Do you like um? Do you like K Dot and all them? Of course. Like TDE and all them. Cool. Yeah, I fuck with all TDE. Yeah. Schoolboy. All of them. All of them. Yeah, J Rock too. Yeah. Fair. If you Have could soul. get like one of your lyrics tatted on you, what would it be? I I, I thought about that too. Like. Um, or a girl. If she's like, Dila, I'm gonna get it tatted on me. <laughs> what you gonna tell her? <laughs> yes. Get what it. a lyric. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I had some. I, I got to go back on my songs. Like, um, wait, have you have you ever that ever happened to you? Like, a girl ever be like, I'm gonna get your name or your your lyrics tatted on me? Yeah, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Girls really be like no, wilding like that. The mother of my children. She got my. Oh, name. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, that yeah. makes sense. All right. Yeah, that's dope. Though. I like it. I like seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> For real, sure like, no. yeah. Yes, sir. I remember I, I one sticky. time almost got a guy's name tatted on me. Thank God I was like, I was good. I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was like, almost one time. Yeah. But what would be the lyric though? Um. Damn, that's that's hard to go off the top of my head. You know how many songs I did. Um. Or I guess just what's one of your favorite like lyrics that you've that you've. Said? Let me see. I know you gotta sit back and think I about probably, your songs. Uh, one's like. You you only get one life, so roll the dice. Um, nah, that's old. But <laughs> some like that. I don't know. I have to, I have to look through my music. Well, I probably <laughs> can post that shit later. But I already had some saved, some lyrics I do want to get tatted on. That's dope. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you guys like as artists, y'all and me too, I'm artists. Like maybe you should put like your lyrics as quotes in picture frames and sell them. You know. Ooh. Just uh, make hey, sure you give me 10% when you guys do that. <laughs> I just gave you an idea to make money because, you know, LV was talking about earlier, everything that we do, we have to be creative. I just gave you an idea. Yeah, that's a good yes. idea. Word. So we want to get into your track. Okay. Um, so where can the people find you and, you know, you know, like just where can we find you? How can we contact you? Are you open for bookings? Are you open for features? Can people book you for that? Yeah, I'm open for all that. Like, um, I got email. is dlaw2raw at yahoo. Word. Instagram is D dot law number two raw. Okay. Yeah. And um futures if it gotta be the right artist though. Like we gotta click. Like what you about if it's the right price? I'm just playing. Um <laughs> yeah, yeah, price too, but it gotta be nah, like I hear that. It's gonna be in alignment with what yeah, you got. Yeah. Exactly. Nah, that's facts. Somebody was just talking about that. Um there's a rapper, Caleb, he's a Christian rapper and he was talking about like really like being particular about who he collabs with, so yeah. Right, so we're going to get into your track. So if you want to um, go ahead and introduce it. All right. Th this is called uh, Hustle Up, Cruise Control. The newest uh, track I got out right now. Let's it's on go. all platforms. Let's go. Fixing my code, so I flip laptops and phones, picking her up from work. She cussing. 
shit hurt, but I ain't drop a tear. Now I pay all, all the bills. Can my whip mess a year? No cosign off the lot. Do you know how that feel? Been through a lot. Until they fall off, I'ma ride their wheels. Oh God, I'ma reach 10 mil. I'ma reach 10 mil. Free your fucking mind, bitch. Put this shit on cruise control. So we don't lose control. Put this shit on cruise control. So we don't lose control. It ain't a sprint, it's a marathon. Proud to the whisper law. Put the spare ball on our beat up. Every snare I'm on, they get they staring on. Pedal to the floor, and I'm gone. Move to the riches from the bottom, from the trenches. Literally was digging trenches, penny pitching, trying to get it, stealing shit. Then I flip it, status determined by digits. Street life, I ain't living, but I get it. I was privileged with parents driven to get it. When shit got hard, mom got another job. Said if she ain't home, warm chicken popcorn. Lock the door, listen out when you snore. And you better answer that phone when that ring come on. When I got my first check, I paid off a phone. When I got my first check, I put a tech on F. Cause she the F and best. I'm a hustler. Do anything for a check. Even if that means wearing work jeans and a safety vest. Put this shit on cruise control. So we don't lose control. Uh huh. Put this shit on cruise control. So we don't lose control. Uh huh. It ain't a sprint, it's a marathon. Ride to the whip, fall off. Put the spare up on, I beat up. Every snare I'm on, they get they staring on. Pedal to the floor, and I'm gone. Set the speed, push the button, let that shit go. Set the speed, push the button, let that shit go. Set the speed, push the button, let that shit go. She say I push the buttons, I'm just on cruise control. Pass these niggas like it's nothing, I'm on cruise control. Pass up income, getting money all day like a toll. That mean I'm getting money. So we don't lose control. Put this shit on cruise control. So we don't lose control. It ain't a sprint, it's a marathon. Ride to the whistle law. Put the spare bone, I beat up. Every snare I'm on, they get they staring on. Pedal to the floor. 